Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is the 10th race in season number one of the HERS Elimination Series. We are here at the Armory Digital Super Speedway for another 12 lap race here. It was the third race of the season. When we raced here the first time, we had 18 drivers. We have eliminated 7 different drivers since, and now we only have 11. Uh, so, it keeps on tightening up here in the Elimination Series, and uh, it's all because... We only need eight drivers at Homestead. Because, uh, you know, here's the whole thing about the Elimination Series. Like, if I had, like, 20 guys, like, excuse me, at the final race at Homestead, the winner wins the championship when you get to Homestead. So, it all comes down to that race. But, um, you know, we can't have too many drivers in there. And I only like eliminating one guy at a time. I, I feel like, you know, really... Getting rid of a lot of guys early is kind of hard. I mean, I started out with 20 drivers, so we really didn't have a big number to start this series off, and uh, it almost didn't even start. This series uh, really came very suddenly, uh, very, very suddenly, and, uh, you know, it hasn't really been that successful, but I don't really care. We still got to finish it out anyway. It's going to be really fun to do that home set race, so it's going to be fun to do this one. And Biff Crafton starts on the pole. Alongside him, we got Garrett Sinor, Harajel Arvin Alonso, and Ferdinand Gabat in the second row. Joffrey Toussaint, Tyler Selzman. Toussaint's one of those guys who has never won on Napa Fan before, but tonight could be a great opportunity for him. Uh, you got Austin Spencer, Clint Buchanan, Stuart Gratton, Dana Mon, and Cameron Garlington. That's all who's left here in the Hurst Elimination Series. And after this race, we we'll, we would have eliminated half of the guys who originally started the series back at Daytona uh, a month and a half ago. So, yeah, we've eliminated a lot of guys. And after this race, we'll eliminate two more. We have Chicagoland and Talladega after this. And then the final race at Homestead. The winner of that race will be the champion of the Hurst Elimination Series. So, a lot is at stake. Here in the Elimination Series, and another driver will be eliminated tonight. Who is it going to be? <clears throat> we will find out soon. Twelve laps in this race. I kind of feel that it's unnecessary to have such a long race at a track like this with the few amount of cars that we have, but, you know, that's the way it is. That's the way we're going to do it. Uh, so, yeah, Biff Crafton and Garrett Sonor are going to lead us off, and here we go. We are green flag racing in Armory Digital in the herd. Elimination Series. Already going three wide. That's Austin Spencer trying to go to the inside and grab a few positions. Dana Mon and Clint Buchanan falls back into number nine. Biff Crafton stays out front, trying to win three in a row. Dana Mon did that earlier in the season uh, when he won at Talladega, Stafford, and Kentucky. Actually, it was Talladega, Kentucky, and Stafford. But uh, Biff Crafton trying to win his fourth race of the season in the Hurst Elimination Series. But he's got to hold up the guys like Alonzo. Alonzo won the first race of the season. Uh, let's see how many drivers are in this series that have yet to win this season in the Elimination Series. Quite a few, actually. Uh, did Clint, I don't think Clint Buchanan won, so, as a matter of fact, it's been one, two, three, three. Yeah, there's only, we only have three winners still left in the field. <laughs> We've eliminated quite a few winners. Dean Wicker was a winner. We, uh, he got eliminated last time. Alan Cavignaro was a winner. He got eliminated. We've only had five winners this season, actually. He's got Dana Mon and Biff Crafton both winning three races. And uh, they really have shown it. But I think we're going to get a different winner tonight. I really do. Joffrey Toussaint uh, was out there for a while. And now here comes Spencer in the uh, 38, moving his way up. Dana Mon is in the middle here. Garrett Sonor in the 17, trying to move his way up in the, that car. Roush Fenway's last car, pretty sure. Of course, I really not... But yeah, that's Robert Yates. 38's Robert Yates. Uh, Petty still has both, well, two cars at least. Uh, 43-9. 43-9 still in it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hendrick has two. Actually, sorry, Roush has two, 97. I keep on forgetting 
The 97 is a Roush car. So Roush still has two cars. Petty still has two cars. Uh, that's Childress. They have two cars. Huh, interesting. The only team that doesn't have two cars is Roush Yates, and they might have started out that way. <laughs> but the rest of the field has a teammate. The 17 and the 97 are teammates. The 12 and the 2 are teammates. The 31 and the 29 are teammates. The 9 and the 43 are teammates. And the 48 and the 5 are teammates. The 38 is the only driver out there that doesn't have a teammate. So, yeah, interesting fact there. Unnecessary fact, but interesting fact. Stuart Gatton finished second here earlier. Calvin Naro won this race uh, when we were here earlier in the season. Uh, he's not in the series anymore. And Stuart Gatton, who finished second in that race, is now out front. Ferdinand Gabat in the 31 qualified for the Coca-Cola. Or the, <laughs> I keep on doing that. I keep on doing that. The Chick-fil-A showdown. And uh, he uh, is going to race in the Chick-fil-A All-Star race. So he's going to race in every single race this weekend. Uh, quite a few guys are actually going to do that. And uh, he's now leading here at Armory Digital. Clint Buchanan in the 9, moving his way up in that car. we got the 43 of Dana Munn. And here, Joel Arvin Alonso in the 29. They were four wide for the last place position. And right now, Selsbin is barely in last place. But he's probably going to get by Sonor. Of course, the, the positions change very frequently here at Armory Digital. So, staying in last place at this point in the race isn't the end of the world at all. You can easily move your way up. Clint Buchanan is the leader. Cameron Garlington, he started last place for this race, and he's moved his way up to second. Austin Spencer, moving his way back up again. Our pole sitter fell back, moved his way back up. That's Biff Crafton in the number two. And they're four wide again. Dana Mon. Now, I'd be kind of surprised if uh, Dana Mon got eliminated. He is, he won the three races in a row. Hasn't won since he won that race at Stafford, but uh, he's definitely keeping in this series very well and uh, definitely a good contender for the championship when we get to Homestead. I kind of have a feeling, though, we're going to have one of these guys who has not won all season long but wins that final race. I just have a feeling that that's going to happen. Biff Grafton takes, his lead, takes the lead, I should say, from the 38, and Stuart Grafton back up. Joffrey Toussaint. In the 48, still in this thing. Every single driver in the field has won at least one race on Napa Fan before, except for Joffrey Toussaint. He's done a great job in this series, keeping in. He's one of those guys we really haven't seen on the verge of getting eliminated, but we really haven't seen on the verge of winning. He's one of those guys that kind of finishes in the middle of each race, and, uh, you know, that's a really good strategy. Uh, you know, kind of in this series... The whole series is pretty much just one long race uh, that, you know, has heats at different tracks. It's pretty much all it is because, you know, we always have, you know, the this, the finishing results of the previous race is the starting lineup for the next race. And uh, it's pretty much just one big race and uh, the finish line is at Homestead. And uh, it's kind of what it is. And, uh, you know, you could be running in the middle and all of a sudden at the end, boom, you win. The final race. Toussaint led that lap. Here comes Selzman in the 97. Dana Mon on this inside line. Garrett Sonor. Right now, the guy who started in last place, Cameron Garlington, is right now the last place driver in the field. But that could easily change soon. And Selzman. Selzman's one of those guys who hasn't won yet this season. Quite a few guys haven't won yet this season. And that's why it's very possible we can actually have a guy who had not won all season long win the championship at Homestead because there are so many guys who have not won yet this season. Dana Munn has won. He won th three times. And now he's out front. Garrett Sonor, he's come close to winning uh, a couple times. He's trying to do it again here in this number. Or he's, he's come close. He's actually trying to trying to get the win finally in the Urza Elimination Series. Get his fourth career win. He won the Cup Series race at Nashville. So he's definitely a good contender for the championship over there and a good contender for the championship over here. Especially if he can get a win. Here comes Garlington. He was in last place just a lap ago. And now he's up to second. Austin Spencer right now is in last place. Here, Joe Larp and Alonzo Stewart Gratton back here. 
And it's going to be three laps to go when we cross the line next time by Cameron Garlington in the five. Has a fast car there. And in two laps, he went from last to first. That's how easy it can be done here at Armory Digital. Garlington leads lap number nine. Three laps to go in this race. Clint Buchanan in the nine moving his way up. Four wide for third. And now three wide for second. And possibly two wide for the lead, of course. You know, if you're making a pass for the lead, it's always going to be too wide. Right now it is Stuart Ratton in last place in the number 12. One of the Australian drivers got eliminated. That was Dean Wickard. And uh, as I mentioned, the two countries, Australia and the Philippines, have done really well. Uh, the first driver eliminated from either of those countries was uh, Dean Wickard uh, last uh, last time here. And uh, I'm not sure, I'm not pretty sure that it's possible that their luck had uh, has run out. But Dana Mon is now the last place uh, driver, and Stuart Gratton able to get to that inside lane. Now that's where you want to be in the final laps. Clint Buchanan leads that one. Here comes Ferdinand Gabat in the 31, and he's going to take the lead. We have about 20, lap, 20 lead changes in this race every time, and it's only 12 laps long, so yeah. Dana Mon, and our pole sitter's back here as well. That's not good. You don't want to be the last place driver, because if you are, you get eliminated. And that's not what you want. Erich Larvin Alonso is trying to get his second career hers elimination series win and his third career Napa fan win. He's going to take the lead from his uncle, and I think he's going to lead it at the white flag. Stuart Gratton was in last place just a minute ago, and now he's trying to battle for He's battling for the lead with Herja Larvin Alonso. Here we go, white flag at Armory Digital. Alonso leads it. Garlington's right now in last place. Here comes Stuart Gratton in the 12. Underneath of the 29. Gratton, he was last place a moment ago, and now he's out front in the number 12. He finished second here earlier in the season. He's trying to do it again. Well, actually, he wants to win this time. He doesn't want to finish second again. But here comes Austin Spencer in the number 38. Underneath of the 12 for the lead. Right now it is Cameron Garlington in last place. He's trying to get underneath of the 9 of Clint Buchanan. The 38 out front. Here comes the 43, Dana Mon, trying to make it four wins in the HERS Elimination Series. He's not going to do it. Austin Spencer wins. Darlington is out. Oh, man. Garlington couldn't do it. He started last for this race and just couldn't do it. Oh, man. That's a hard one. Clint Buchanan came so close. And that is... He can breathe a sigh of relief there. He was so close to getting eliminated. Garlington could not make the pass on him. And Garlington is out in the HERS Elimination Series. But Austin Spencer gets it done here in Armory Digital. Fourth. Sorry. Fifth. Career. Napa fan win. Ties Biff Crafton, Dana Mon, and Warren Henniger for the most ever wins on Napa Fan. And Austin Spencer, definitely a great driver on Napa Fan. Of course, one of the earliest drivers on Napa Fan. <laughs> yeah, he's been in pretty much every race, actually. So, yeah, he's a great driver, great friend, and a winner in the HERS Elimination Series. So he's going to start on pole for Chicagoland. Aina Mon, Stuart Gretton, Herjo Larvin, Alonzo, Ferdinand Gabat, the top five. And unfortunately, Cameron Garlington lost it by 14 one thousandths of a second. He just couldn't do it on a Clint Buchanan. And Buchanan's still in this thing. And uh, it's only going to tighten up even more when we head to Chicagoland. That's going to be a good race there. And then Talladega. And then the finale race at Homestead. So it's going to be awesome here in the HERS Elimination Series. Might not be awesome for a couple of drivers, but uh, it's also for Austin Spencer. He won the race here at Armory Digital, and he's going to start on pole for Chicagoland. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys later.